Welcome to this Tuesday vlog. It is actually not that busy of a work week this week, which is so nice. Um, I can kind of have a bit of time to catch up on things. Um, I think today is going to be a little bit more of a kind of reflective day and just kind of reflecting and planning on what I want to do with my YouTube channel, brainstorming some video ideas, planning some videos. I will also probably do a little bit of work on my business, some emails and some just kind of admin stuff too. I had the best morning today. I woke up a little bit after 5 and I've really just been struggling to wake up recently no matter when I get up so I thought I may as well just try and get up earlier. Um, I used to love waking up early and I really still do so I really just want to try and be waking up earlier 
um, more days. But I went out and walked up the hill and watched the sunrise and just prayed and it was so nice and I just love being outside before the sunrise when it's just so still and quiet and it's dark and you can just see a little bit of light coming up. It is so beautiful and crisp in the mornings and then during the day it is quite warm with the sun. Literally cannot complain about the weather where I live in Australia, it is just the best. So it was just a really slow morning of spending time with God and going for a walk and then coming home and making breakfast, watering my plants, all before the time that I would usually wake up for the day. I've been reading through the book of Romans recently. I finished John and then I read Acts. So I was like, I might as well just continue on chronologically through the New Testament. Um, and I haven't read through Romans in quite a while, um, but it is just such a banger of a book. It's a really good reminder just reading through and being reminded um, just of the gravity of my sin and how God doesn't give us what we deserve as sinners, but he gives us mercy and grace, which is crazy. Romans 5, 8, but God proves his own love for us and that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. God's love is given to us, undeserving people. All the reasons for his love are found in him, not in us. And a really good reflection in the commentary that I was reading was the demonstration of God's love is shown not only in that Jesus died, but also in who he died for, undeserving sinners. And then chapter six going on to talk about how we have a new life and we're a new creation in Christ. A lot of bigger theological stuff happening in this book as well, which is kind of cool to be able to read and understand a little bit more. I don't think I've fully read through the book of Romans since I kind of just became a Christian, so I feel like I didn't probably get as much from it as I am getting now and understanding more of it, which is so cool. I love hearing your guys' reflections as well, so let me know what you're reading in the Bible at the moment, what God is saying to you. I feel like recently I have really just been desiring to spend time alone and just kind of reflect and retreat and kind of, yeah, just spend more time with myself and God um, just reflecting. I don't know if that has maybe something to do with the seasons and winter kind of being a season that is more restful, but I've really found myself not wanting to be around people as much and just really wanting to spend time alone with myself and God and I really have been loving doing that, which is really good and healthy because I feel like I kind of went through a period of time where I just wanted to be around people all the time and just always wanted to be with my friends, which is great. I love my friends and I love hanging out with people, but it's also just super helpful for me as an introvert to be spending time alone. Um, and that is really the time where I can spend time with God and spend time reflecting. So yeah, I feel like I've just really been enjoying my own company more and not feeling like I have to be around people all the time. Anyway, I'm done rambling, but I wanted to share with you guys quickly this super sweet gift um, that this lovely girl Sarah sent to me. She has a little small business called Humbly Designed. She does minimalistic art prints um, and she's also a Christian as well. So she does some Bible verses on some of them. Um, and she so kindly gifted me this beautiful print. It has Luke chapter 12 verse 27 on it. Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labor or spin. It's so beautiful and I love this verse so much. I think it's just such a great reminder of God's provision in our lives. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you um, and share Sarah's shop if you guys were interested in checking out her work. I just love this so much. Thank you so much, Sarah, for sending this to me. So sweet.
So my previous video was about how to do a mid-year review slash life audit. Um, I pretty much just shared with you guys different ideas for how you can audit your life and just reflect and check in with yourself. I'll link that video down below. And I've kind of just been spending some time doing that for myself and my own life and specifically reflecting on the goals that I set at the start of the year. I had five goals that I wrote down at the start of the year. They were to learn more about God, to spend less time on my phone, slow down and reflect, invest into YouTube, and care for my mental health. So I've kind of just been reflecting on those and asking myself how I feel like I'm going with those and thinking about how I can begin to make more progress towards those or just start doing those things that I said I wanted to do more of. So four questions I'm asking myself are what actions do I need to take to do or achieve this? What is stopping me from doing or achieving this? How can I implement a system or a routine to help me do this? And can I make any environmental changes to make this easier to do slash achieve? Recently, I've just been learning more and more about how your environment can affect your behavior. And I'm trying to create an environment that will help me to achieve my goals rather than hinder me from achieving my goals. And when I talk about environmental changes, I'm literally just talking about, for example, if you wanted to read more books, having a book on your bedside table where you see it every night. Even things like putting your phone on do not disturb in the morning or the nighttime so you're spending less time on your phone. So yeah, I'm taking a little bit of a break from work and kind of just doing a bit of reflection and goal planning um, because I wasn't feeling very productive. So I'm hoping this break will help me and then I can do a little bit more productive work before I finish for the day. But yeah, I think I'm gonna finish this and then maybe go outside, sit in the sun and plan some more YouTube videos.